Hi, this is Al, and we're reading The Bears and Bears and the Sitter. What's this? said Papa Bear as he took the, today's mail from the Bear family mailbox. It was an, a notice telling them about something important that was going to happen at the Bear Country Hall. Mama Bear called up Grizzly Graham. Brother and sister sometimes stayed with Gramps, with Gramps and Gran when Mama and Papa Bear had to be away. But Gramps and Gran were planning to go to the meeting too, so brother and sister couldn't stay with them. Or with Aunt Maud or Cousin Wilbur, they were going to the meeting too. Why can't we go with you? asked sister, beginning to get a little upset. Yeah, added Brother Bear. Because, said Papa, this meeting is for grown-ups. And besides, it won't be over until late, way past your bedtime. Well, where are we going to stay? The cubs wanted to know. You're going to stay right here, said Mama, as she put down the phone. Alone, asked Sister. Of course not, said Mama. I've arranged a sitter for you. A sitter? said brother. Who's it gonna be? sister asked. Miss Grizzle, who lives in the hollow stump at the end of the road, said Mama, feeling much better about the whole thing. Miss Grizzle, said the cubs, not feeling better at all. Once one sister was playing with her friends, the ball went into Miss Grizzle's flower garden. Miss Grizzle wasn't too happy about that. Another time, when Brother was flying his kite, it swooped and bumped Miss Grizzle on the hat. She wasn't too tickled about that either. Later that evening, after the supper things had been cleaned up, Mama and Papa got ready to go to the town meeting. Who's going to scrub our backs and read us stories and tuck us in, said Sister. Still a little nervous about the, the idea of a sitter. I understand that Miss Grizzle has raised seven cubs on her own, said Mama, putting back, putting on her hat. I'm sure she, she'll be perfectly good back. I'm sure she'll be a perfectly good back scrubber, story reader, and tucker in her. She's not going to scrub my back, Brother Bear said under his breath. Miss Grizzle came walking up the path to the bear's tree house right on time. There were no questions about it. It was the same Miss Grizzle who got bumped on the head and didn't like cubs tromping on her flowers. She was very large, almost as big as Papa, and she carried a drawstring bag. Evening all, said Miss Grizzle in a loud, jolly voice. Well... Time's wasting, you two, she said to Mama and Papa. You better skedaddle off to your meeting. Miss Grizzle had a strong way of saying things. The folks usually did what she said. Mama and Papa kissed the cups goodnight and skedaddled. Whew, said Miss Grizzle as she sat down in Papa's big chair. It sure feels good to get a load off your feet. She took off her hat and looked into her drawstring bag. There's something about somebody looking into a bag that makes cubs curious. Miss Grizzle, said sister. Yes. What's in the bag? Nothing much. Just some things I take along me when I go sitting. A few string, a pack of cards. Meanwhile, over at the town hall, the bears were getting ready for their important meeting. They were getting ready for speeches, voting, and arguments about some new laws. But Mama's mind was not on the meeting, neither was Papa's. Mama and Papa Bear were thinking about what was going, to, was going on back home. Sister looked a little worried when we left, Fred and Mama. So did Brother, agreed Papa. They decided to go home and see how things were going. Things 
things are going just fine, said Miss Grizzle. Brother and sister can't come to the phone right now. They're too busy playing Cat's Cradle. Have a good meeting, shouted the cubs. But they seem to have a good meeting. After Cat's Cradle, they played Goldfish. And with the cards that came out of Miss Grizzle's drafting bag. Then they played Tiddlywinks with a special set of winks that Miss Grizzle had made out of polished stones and a snail shell cup. After a while, the cubs got the yawns and Miss Grizzle began getting them ready for bed. She did indeed turn out to be a very good back scrubber. Brother changed his mind about having not having his back scrubbed. She was a really fine story reader and a really super tucker in her. I hope Mama and Papa had a good meeting, said Sister with a yawn, because we had a very good set. The cubs had a number of different sitters from time to time, but Miss Grizzle was the favorite, and they were always glad to see her. <laughs>